Lads, it is time for another goofy R top speed experiment. But unfortunately for me, we're doing it in this. This is the FPU Wydra. And today, we're gonna keep upgrading it until it just won't go any faster. And after that, we're also gonna test it on the quarter mile. And for the first time ever, we're also gonna test how fast it can go on water. But before that, let me tell you why this is gonna be a little harder than my previous top speed videos. So, you may think that the main problem with the Wydra is its small three-cylinder engine. But surprisingly, that isn't the problem. Especially since I have a 1000 PSI turbo ready to go in case power becomes a bottleneck. The main issue is that it has a centrifugal clutch. In simple terms, it's basically what you find on a moped. And to be honest, it is perfectly fine for low power and low speeds. But give it a bit too much juice and it slips worse than the average elderly person as soon as they come in close proximity of a deadly flight of stairs. So yeah, I'm quite scared. But that is no concern at the moment, because now we are testing it completely stock. So as per tradition, let's roll it down the pyramid. And in the meantime, let me tell you what we're working with. This bathtub looking boy has 40 horsepower and 70 newton meters of torque. Was that 120 kilometers per hour? I don't think we'll go that fast for a while. <laughs> also, since it doesn't have any suspension, it got completely destroyed. What the f Anyways, with all that out of the way, it is time to see how fast the stock configuration can go. Good launch. But is that it? 33. Oh wait, and that's in kilometers per hour. What the f Yeah, we definitely need an upgrade. The first upgrade is a new gear ratio. So the stock one was 3.3 to 1, but now we're down to 2.25 to 1, which should give us... I don't know, let's see. Sheesh! 46 kilometers per hour. That is a 50% increase, actually. Not bad. You know what, though? I think we're lacking power. So let's fix that. So now the engine is fully upgraded, plus I've also added the eBay Turbo. And yeah, this gives us a whopping 66 horsepower and 117 newton meters of torque. And yeah, this should do the trick. Let's see. Much qui- Are you serious? What the hell? Why isn't it going any faster after a 50% power increase? Actually, you know what? I think I know why. If I rev it, it's limited to 4,000 RPM, but I think we can get more. And yes, I was right. 6,500 RPM. I really hope this does the trick. Hey, what the f 74 kilometers per hour, what? Man, we are zooming right now. Look at it vibrating. I think your mom has one of those. So yeah, 74 kilometers per hour is the maximum speed you can reach without modifying the game files. But who said we can't modify the game files? Before doing that though, I just realized, what if we use larger wheels? Wouldn't that act like having a higher gear ratio? Or is it lower gear ratio? I legit don't know guys, please let me know in the comments. But anyways, let us see if bigger wheels equals higher speed. So my only concern is, these are a little heavier. 71. Okay, so it's actually slower, but I don't know why. The only thing I know is that I have to promote channel memberships. So if you've got a few bucks to throw away, you can read all the perks for yourself. Because now, I want to take this moment to proudly announce we are officially less than 100 channel members away to me streaming in the Matrix. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you. And so, it is now time to go faster. What I've done now is, I've kept the engine completely stock, and the only thing different from before is an even higher gear ratio. It's 1 to 1 now, instead of 2.25 to 1. Which, in theory, should give us more than double our previous speed. I don't know, let's see. Really slow off the line. And I really hope it has enough power to get there. Okay, 100 kilometers per hour. 
130, 140. Starting to shake quite aggressively. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, look at that. 150. I was right. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it shaking so much? Holy shit! This is your mom when she's really feeling it. I think it has settled on 155. I just can't get over how much this thing is vibrating. Guys, like and subscribe if you'd enjoy a ride on this. Because I would. But I think we can go even faster. And you know how we're going to do that? More power. Introducing the Oblong Miller Turbo. It has 1000 PSI. You ain't ready for this. 1400 horsepower and 2000 Newton meters of torque. You know what? Before going, I just want to let you hear how it sounds. The engine is 99% turbo now. What the fuck? This is so cursed. Let us go. Whoa! Okay, it's spinning. Yeah, gonna try my best not to make it wheel spin, which is also hard since it has off-road tires. So, previous record was what? 154 kilometers per hour? Easy! Easy! Look at that! <laughs> it's shaking even more, though. <laughs> I think we are reaching the limits of the centrifugal clutch, which is why I have increased or decreased, still have no idea, the gear ratio. We are now running a 1 to 2 gear ratio, which should give us, on paper, double the speed we had before. Let's see. What in the gelatinous substance is that? I'm gonna do that again now. What the fu- As for top speed though- <gasps> Look at that, look at that! Oh, well, I think we f the clutch. This time, I'm gonna be a lot more gentle so that we don't fry the clutch. Really easy off the line. I can only hear the turbo. Okay, it is starting to vibrate. 200. 220. I'm slightly increasing throttle. 230, can we... Oh! But that is no big deal because now I have some tricks up my ass. Sleeves. Is what I wanted to say. What the fuck? <laughs> there was no reason for it to do that. What the fuck? <gasps> it flies! I have invented a new flying device. How does it fly? Devs, I don't know, somebody tell me why does it fly? And by the way, if you want to try this, I will have it as a mod you can download in my Discord server. It should be pinned in the BeamNG channel. So I'm pretty sure it won't go any faster than 230 kilometers per hour. If somebody can make it go faster, please let me know. Now though, it is time to hit the drag strip. Two hours later. Yep, this is pretty boring. Almost there. Come on, come on. Very nice. Much better launch. I mean, the traction must be insane with eight wheel drive. But yeah, once it hits that 75 km per hour wall, you're done. And finally, let's see how fast the 1400 horsepower version is on the quarter mile. I'm gonna do another run, just to see. My god, the shake! I can't see anything! What the hell? Okay. Oh wait, why are you getting so slow though? I'm gonna try not to fry the clutch. Super slow, but hopefully we can make up for it. Oh yes, this definitely feels quicker. And I fried it again. And I'm actually curious to see how it fares against a supercar or something. Okay, here we go, lads. Slow off the line. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, it's close! Shit! <laughs> come on, lads, come on. Yes! Yes! The shaky boy has... Yes! Time to swim. So let's see, this is stock. We are going the beauty of three kilometers per hour. 
I'm pretty sure I could swim like double the speed. But let's see how the fully upgraded version performs. All good so far. And we are going quicker, look at that. But there is one last thing that gives me hope. Holy shit! I'm curious to see though, what happens if I give it the beans? What the f- 